I kind of look like a turd right now because I just got out of an online exam. So for one of my online classes, I got an 88. So and then we're going to film this first day of outfits thingy. Ah, I'm nervous. Hey lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing something a little different. We're bringing back the fashion videos, but today instead of just an average my guy friends pick my outfits for a day, we're doing my TikTok guy friends pick my outfits for a day. So I'm a little nervous. We're gonna do this though. Um, it's gonna be a little fun. It's gonna be over five days. So um, yeah, we're gonna eat this cupcake and then we're gonna get into it. Okay, so now that we got work stuff done, we ate the cupcake, we're like feeling a little more alive, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the first person who is picking my outfit. The first person who's picking my outfit is Stan, better known as World of Extra on all social media basically. He's my friend in Tokyo and uh, let's just see what he has to say. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. Take it away, Stan. Hi Tia, it's me, Stan. So, for the top, I want you to wear like a tiny cropped baby doll top and for the pant i want you to wear like a baggy blue pair of jeans or if you have one a black flare pant for the shoes i want you to wear really high black chunky boots preferably heels chunky heels um i want you to wear a choker or maybe a chain or two I want you to wear a high ponytail and I want you to brush your baby hairs and have them, you know, squiggling on your forehead. Um, I want you to have a little, you know, handbag, preferably designer. Just kidding. Um, yeah. Let's see what you got, girl. And take a picture. Take a picture posing like this. I hope Stan realizes that I do not own a crop top, so I'm gonna have to fake one, but it's gonna be fine. The things we do for social media, actually don't do everything for social media, it's gonna be fine, but we're gonna go, I already think I have all the items, I'm just gonna have to go fix, I really just hit myself with that. We're gonna go fix my hair and um, let's see how this goes. You will see me next time in the outfit. I kind of like it. I would probably never wear this in public because I'm not a crop top person. But it's kind of cute. I did have to like fake crop a shirt quickly for this because I don't own a crop top. Yeah, she's kind of cute. So I did my hair up just like Stan asked. And I kind of... I don't have that many baby hairs that I, and I was not very good at brushing out my edges, but I did my edges. I'm pretty sure that's what Stan was asking for. You just didn't know the terminology. So I have this blouse. Um, it's from a company in Japan, but I can't remember the name. Tragedy. And I just like kind of cropped it up. Girls know how to do this. Boys, don't ask. And then I have these jeans, these high-waisted jeans from Wild Fable. They're literally my favorite in the whole world. And then I have these, these boots from No Boundaries. So yeah. This clip is just for Stan. Stan asked specifically for this. You're welcome, Stan! Okay guys, it is now day two of this outfit video. So today's person is my friend Divine, who is the co-founder of the Blasian House. So we're gonna... Yeah, that's... So he's picked out an outfit for me and I think... Like I watched the video already. I think I can do this. I think I can actually fully do this. So let's go watch it. See ya! I want you to put on, um, 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 it's graphic tee, right? You get a graphic tee, like a white shirt, graphic tee with like, um, plaid oh. kind of pants, you know, like them 80s vibes, 90s vibes, almost like, um, the power is 11, stranger things, something like that, you know, them kind of pants. And then your hair like kind of curly going downwards, you know, and then shoes could be like Converse or Vans. So have fun. Hmm. <laughs> I'm kind of excited because this actually fits within my regular aesthetic. Like, this isn't going to be anything too out of the ordinary for me. The only problem is I don't have plaid pants. Um, but I already told him that and he said I could just, like, 
replaced it with some high-waisted jeans. Um, I have some coral high-waisted jeans that I got, and that kind of still fits within the, like, the aesthetic of the character Eleven from Stranger Things. So we're gonna go put that on and see how this looks. This, this outfit is a whole vibe, okay? This is something I would actually wear. So now we need the shoes, this is very important, is the Converse sneakers. I've had these since like my sophomore year of high school, I think. They look kind of destroyed, but they will do. So I really love this outfit. I will probably, I will actually like wear this sometime outside the house. But yes, yeah, so now I'm gonna show you the whole outfit. Guys, it is now day three of this outfit video. So today's person is Justin G. I'll be putting his stuff here. Um, and he's another one of my TikTok friends, obviously. Um, he does makeup and just like everything perfectly. So like, <laughs> you should go follow him, obviously. Um, so let's see what he has to say. Hey Tia, it's the baddest on earth, period, Justin. And am I about to sabotage you for this challenge? <laughs> Let's find out. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I wanna see you in like a really nice fitted long sleeve white shirt or blouse. If it has like frilly puffy sleeves, better. You wear a nice distressed, maybe light washed high waisted jean. Like that would be super cute. Your hair needs to be slick back for the gods, gold jewelry. And I need to see simple heel, a simple heel. And if not, if you're gonna wear a sneaker, it needs to be white and that's that. I hope you have fun with this challenge and I can't wait to see what you come up with. I hope I can actually pull that off and make that look good. <laughs> so let's go. I think I have all the items. Actually, for once, I actually have all the items that are listed in the video, so let's go. <laughs> there is this set of curls that just does not want to go back. Okay, we're here's what we came up with. I honestly like this. I might wear this to like a business meeting because like it's kind of cute. Um, I feel professional, so let's. So these are the same jeans that I wore with stand outfit for Monday, and here is this sweater blouse um, from Forever 21. This necklace is also from Forever 21, and I can't remember where I got these earrings, but and I slicked my hair back the best I can, but curly hair is very hard to slick back, so I use this for slicking back my hair because she's the stuff. But anyway, let me show you the whole outfit. Um, good job, Justin, by the way. I think he picked a great outfit for me. I forgot the shoes, guys. I would definitely style these with my white Adidas sneakers, so I'm gonna put those on. Hey, it is now day four of this outfit thing. So today we have Baron Zhang. Um, I'll put his information here. Um, he is another of the found, one of the two founders of the Blasian House. Honestly, he has a really amazing aesthetic. So like, I am really excited to see what he put together for me. So uh, let's take a look. Konnichiwa, Tia. What's up? It's your boy, uh, B Zhang. Okay. Let's get straight to the point. I'm gonna make you an e-girl, all right? I don't know why this came to mind, but it just did, all right? So number one, for your bottoms, for your bottoms, the pants, I want them to be black. The darker, the better. They can have holes or no holes. It's really up to you on this. For your shoes, I want to, them to be black, all black shoes, or the boots, or even the boots with like the mini heel at the back. Um, and your socks have to be black as well. For your top, it can be black or a dark purple for your shirt. Um, and then I'm thinking a, bomb, a black bomber jacket or a black hoodie. Um, and even throw in some accessories while you're at it. Some earrings, some bracelets, but yeah. Can't wait to see what you do. Janu. Not gonna lie, this kind of fits with my whole like emo middle school self's aesthetic. So I have all of the items. Let's go do this. <laughs> I'm also starting to consider doing some heavy makeup, so 
we'll see what happens <laughs> not really sure i combined the right jewelry together but i kind of like this i feel like middle school me would have really vibed with this outfit i mean like it's all black and like dark colors and this makeup i haven't done my makeup like this since like eighth grade i was depressed in eighth grade it is but honestly i kind of like this look like if I were going to a concert, I'd probably dress like this be like... Okay, but yes, no, actually, like, seriously though, good job, Baron. Like, I love this outfit a lot. Like, yeah, we like this a lot. So let's go look at the rest of the outfit. Hey guys, it is now the last day of this outfit video, so today we have Ian Boggs styling me. I never thought I'd be saying that, but <laughs> we have Ian Boggs. He will be styling me. If you don't know who he is, you should be following him on TikTok and Instagram, obviously. Um, let's go see what he picked out for me, and we'll see how this goes. What's well, good, Tia? Um, so for this challenge, I suppose I will be asking you to wear something. Am I correct? Yeah, I think so. Black jeans, black shirt, a red, uh, a hint of red on the plaid shirt, but mm, I would say maybe, maybe the, the primary color on the plaid shirt should be red and then have everything else be whatever, black shoes or white shoes, whichever one you choose. Um, yeah, this is gonna be like a classic. I'm going for a hike, but I also wanna be kind of stylish kind of look. And so if we're going into makeup, I guess, uh, natural looking makeup i'm not too sure uh i don't i don't know much about makeup to be honest so yeah all right let's see how it looks <laughs> good luck and you got this i actually did go thrifting for this so um there is a red flannel in my closet so let's 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 go get into this i'm very excited okay i'm ready let's go hiking i i like this i like this very much i think i would wear this again the only reason i went thrifting for this item is because like it's something i would probably wear again so this shirt is thrifted um it says mostly most supply go so it's probably from target originally i did go to the men's section because we like oversized things the shirt is, the t-shirt is from an event that i went to in columbus a couple years ago and then the jeans that i'm wearing are from target so we just need to add the shoes. I did my hair like half up, half done, and I did not put on much makeup. I literally just put on a tiny bit of eyeliner and did my eyebrows, that's it. For shoes, I have my very destroyed combat boots. I need to invest in new ones, obviously they're destroyed, but these are what I would wear if we were going hiking. Let's look at the whole outfit. And that brings us to the end of this video. So if you stay this long, thank you so much for watching. Um, this was really fun. This was just kind of an idea I had a couple months ago, as I said, and it's just, I don't know, we finally made it happen. So everyone's social media links are down below if you are interested in checking that out. And obviously you should go follow everyone. Cause if you're not, what are you doing? Um, all my social media links are down below as well. Comment down below any other video ideas that you have. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Keep shining bright, lovelies. Your light never goes unnoticed. Bye.